Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be filming the city of call me and my girlfriend one. So the flags are uh, it's a difficulty level is beginner and there are two flags and it helps you with web application simple to legislation. So I have sold it once and when I was recording on the fly it did not encode properly. So this time we'll be um, doing it again so I know how the hack is going to be done. So we'll start it and I'm using a new screen recorder called Woko. It I guess that is gonna work. So let's set up the virtual machine. Let's start by simple scan. So the network is set to bridge to my WLAN, so I will start by scanning my network. So let's minimize this fire up your terminals and now let's run net discover and um, get a couple of seconds okay, that's not supposed to take that long so oh yeah and now from here uh the pcs system technique gmbh that's a virtual machine so now let's scan that by running a map with verbosity and with some fuzzing in it and once you run that you can see the port 80 and port 22 means your ssh and http port is open so let's start by going to that website and you say who are you hacker sorry this site can only be accessed by the locket so what I did at first was I view the source code and I see that maybe you can search how to use x4 word for so what x4 word is um, it's like you know well let me show it to you that correct way um, so Okay, so it's a common method for identifying the originating IP address of a client connection to a web server through HTTP proxy or load balancer. So now what we need to do is that it can be only accessed by the locker. So we have to create a proxy to the machine. So we have for that we have to set up I mean fire a burp suit. And let's scroll down over here. Settings. Send manual proxy and let's hit our gear over here. Minimize this guy. Start broken. So now let's go to proxy and option and here we set it this guy to port 9090 and hit OK. And then let's go to the intercept subsection and let's go over here and refresh the page. So, um, right okay let's go to the options and we have to make sure this tick box is checked and then now let's go again and try again so now we are having a burp suit request so now what we have to do is uh, we have to turn x for red for okay x for red for And we need to add it to as local host. Now forward the packets. Forward the sorry packets and let's see what do we have. Okay, okay. Let's refresh it. Shim. Let's enter this point forward, and there you are. 
so now that's the index page so next what I want is uh, I want the login page forward and I found the username and login so uh, I tried for SQL vulnerabilities over here but it kind of didn't work so what I did is that uh, Second, let me put this to this side. So now, what I did is um, in the register section and kept on adding this X forward as you go. So now, what I did is I made a user three, user one two three, and you made something at something dot something, and then I'm gonna set my username to test one two three and again test one two three that's my username and password is login add the line over here forward it again paste it forward paste it forward 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 refresh it yeah, and now let's go to test one two three and test one two three and um, press the login button press it go press it go press it go and welcome back so now I don't know find anything over here so I've tried going to the profile menu and uh, here the username and password was already given so now if you guys notice the url then you can there is something called id equal to 13 so now let's set to id equal to 1 and then go to the page not this one exactly Okay, and now let's go to instead of 13, let's go to I and ID equal to 1. Hit enter. 3. Forward. And you can see there's another thing. So now what I did is next I went here and copied. I'll send this one to intruder. Let's go to intruder and go to positions. Clear all. Then. Add it as a target, then when the payloads added a list so that I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirty. And then I went started the attack. So now when I started, I can see there are um, different packets coming. So I went to the response section over here and searched for who are all these people. So first one was if you turned in again or whatever you read it. Then second one was from same person. Fourth one was Sadias. Then fifth one was Ain and uh, the Kasip. Then one four four Sundatepa and Alice Givele. So this is our target and the reason is that if you go to the oh i closed it so the main page of uh, that vulnerable hub descriptions then um, we have to hack alice for our guy so for that we successfully uh we have to hack the company and to find information about alice and uh, that's it so now her password is for lic3 and the username is alice so um if you check the login you can't find anything here so now let's go to hit logout okay yeah okay there is nothing inside that website we could find so now one thing you had if you noticed is that there is an ssh port open so now let's try that one so for that ssh alice at 
one and two dot one six eight dot one dot eighteen right yeah so now her password is four l i c and three and now we are in so now hit clear ls okay that's my old fuck aramsha dot php aramsha php and yeah, that's okay so now if you list everything there is a one folk called my secret so ls dot my secret and you can see there is one flag dot txt oh my god i mean cat my secret and this is a great map but the user had a stored you can record the information send it to bob even if it's given to him the bob will be here but this is better than bob being cheated now your last flag is access to the root and view the flag so now we have to get access to the root so it will be in the root directory and you can see the first flag is gfriend and whatever is inside here and then now okay, cat dot my secret and my notes well i like this company i hope that here i get better partner than bob okay i hope that here i get a better partner than bob hopefully bob does not know my notes and now that's what these secret files okay now let's check um for the services uh anything that Alice can run as root, so it's PHP. So now there is PHP. So now next thing I did is I went and Google for simple PHP payload. So now simple PHP payload. Okay, oh, creating that as well. Simple PHP bind shell. Simple reverse shell. Yeah, we have this reverse shell. So now uh, this is a reverse shell over here. Now let's copy this guy and run there echo. Okay, let's go to echo and if config nc dash and we will be on port 8080 so not 8080 maybe let's go for 85 uh, okay not that 858 okay maybe 1234 and that's on port 192.168.1.7 so now we we'll go here 192.1.7 and also we have to put a backslash over here for escape characters and then we'll be good to go to um null dot php php null dot php and if you see here you got a shell so now close it and let's go for okay let's go for sudo okay run this guy over here then sudo php now if you run id you are running as root so now cd slash root ls and if you want to get a better look at this then run this command and you will be having a shell and now if you cat flag 2.txt and that's your flag and that's all you have to do Thanks for watching, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.